Well, apples are just one kind of fruit you can get at the farmer's market on the Capitol Square. With many different vendors and produce, there are rigid health and safety guidelines required to remain market members. NBC 15's Madeline Anderson explains. From reds, oranges, and yellows, greens, blues, and purples. There aren't any grocery stores in town that allow you to buy this selection of local and organic uh, vegetables and eggs and cheese. The Dane County Farmers Market draws thousands of people every weekend, some taking advantage of the free samples, others shopping for their weekly produce. We're selling food in a retail setting to the public, so everything has to be safe. A lot goes on behind the scenes to make sure what looks good also tastes good. Market manager Larry Johnson requires all vendors to have permits before they can sell on the square. Wisconsin has a pickle bill, which allows people with uh, sales less than $5,000 to not have a license, we override that and actually re require that all processed foods uh, have a licensed facility. There are approximately 115 vendors here at the farmer's market on any given Saturday. Some of them are licensed through the Department of Agriculture, others are licensed through the county. Today's the day health inspectors are going around to their various vendors as part of their annual health and safety inspections. It's a surprise inspection. We check food temperatures, we're looking at uh, bakery handling, eggs, cheese, meat. Jim Blackmore with Madison and Dane County Public Health says everyone passes inspection this time. For the most part, it's just a matter of talking to the vendors and finding out if they're doing anything new. But that wasn't the case for Pecatonica Valley Farm last summer. The Carr family had been keeping its eggs in coolers with ice packs, a clear health code violation, especially during the hottest months of the year. So now we have an industrial sized cooler that we keep on our truck uh, that we run through the electricity to keep things cool. Both Johnson and Blackmore work with vendors and and with each other to try to fix problems as soon as possible. If we have to come back, there's a $150 fee, so nobody wants that. We work closely with the health departments. They, we, we consider them as, as allies, supporters, and we, we're all working to have safe, healthy food here. The farmer's market moves to the Monona Terrace in mid-November. Then after Christmas, they head to the Madison Senior Center.